Connecting Central Texas, this is 25 News. Several Central Texas school districts are now going virtual again and closing down in-person classes. It comes as a large number of students and staff are testing positive for COVID-19. Tonight, 25 News reporter Alicia Nespreto has more on how one district is working to adjust on the fly. Several school districts have sent their students back home. Alicia Nespreto, 25 News. The list of additional school closures across Central Texas and the Brazos Valley continues to grow. Axtell, Bremen, Buxholtz, Fairfield, Grosbeck, McGregor, Mejia, Milano, and Rockdale all closing down for this week. Most of those schools resume Tuesday the 18th. The Biden administration announcing it will provide 10 million COVID-19 tests to schools. More than double what schools got last year. Half will be rapid tests, the other PCR versions. The administration says it also plans to send states billions of dollars to set up testing programs within school districts. About 1% of the entire state of Texas has now tested positive for COVID in just the past week. The number of people hospitalized with or because of COVID is only going up as well. Tonight, 25 News reporter Andrew Lemparski is live with some of the latest on the hospital impact. Or to find one. Live in Waco, Andrew Lamparski, 25 News. All right, Andrew, the nursing shortage, meanwhile, continues to impact hospitals in Central Texas as well. Joyce McCabe, a Central Texas nurse, tells 25 News the job is simply getting harder. She actually tested positive for COVID herself, something no nurse wants to hear as hospitals are so desperate for healthy staff. One of the things that we have witnessed through this uh, pandemic is is the human spirit that steps forward and says, you will not win. You will not win. We will win. We will still have those people that stand up and say, here I am to fight. Hospitals continue to urge everyone get vaccinated so you don't become seriously ill, which of course could land you in the hospital. Researchers at the University of Central Florida publishing a new study on masks. They found facial coverings can reduce the distance aerosols and droplets travel when someone is speaking or coughing if they have COVID-19, possibly reduce it by half from four to two feet. The authors of the study say their findings suggest three feet of distancing with a mask appears to be as effective as six feet. The CDC simply says any type of mask is better than no mask. Have you had any luck getting a COVID-19 test lately? If you go to official testing sites, chances are good you're going to wait for hours. 25 News reporter Adam Schindler is in Bell County taking a closer look. The Bell County Health District is currently reporting nearly 3,800 active COVID. You plan to get a COVID test soon? Be prepared to wait. In Colleen, Adam Schindler, 25 News. Bell County Health District says about one month ago there were 50 active cases per 100,000 people. One week ago it was 575. Yesterday the rate was up to 1,044 active cases per 100,000. The Waco McLennan County Public Health District is offering free drive through community testing this week. You can get tested at MCC and parking lot M. 9 to 4.30 Monday through Friday. The Health District also opening up a new location at Columbus Avenue. That site is open from 8 to 4.30 Monday through Saturday. To qualify for a test, you should be experiencing active COVID symptoms. Registration is required. More info at covidwaco.com. The city of Temple also hosting a vaccine and testing clinic at Wilson Park. That is open Tuesday through Saturday from 10 to 6, all month long. Tests are only for those 14 and up. The site will have both the Moderna and Pfizer vaccines. Registration is not required, but you do need an ID. Clean ISD is also hosting vaccine and testing clinics all week long. The first one's at the former Nola Middle School. It's open through Friday from 10 to 7. Pfizer vaccines will be there for kids 5 and older. Kids must have their parents okay, though. Testing is also available while supplies last. Second location at the Clean Special Events Center for the same time periods. However, it is closed on Friday. All right, a uh, nicer day out there, and Thursday and Friday look pretty good too, huh, Matt? Yeah, it's going to be really nice. Today here across the state, we saw a lot of 60s.